SimSim started out as a tie-in for a video game, available in Japanese arcades and mobile platforms. The idea was to draw lines connecting Disney characters that are stacked on top of each other, and in fact the name SimSim comes from the Japanese verb to stack. And while the game is still around, the plushes inspired by it have arguably become even more popular. What started out as a relatively small selection of classic Disney characters is now expanded to include just about anything that is remotely related to Disney, including Marvel Comics and, yes, Star Wars. And in true Disney fashion, the merchandising hasn't stopped at plushes, oh my no. You can get Tsum Tsum apparel, stationery, dishes and mugs, vinyl figures, die-cast cars, a haiku book, because why not, and even whatever this thing is. The first wave of Star Wars Tsum Tsums came out a couple of weeks ago, and since my kids are big fans of Tsum Tsums to begin with, it seems natural to pick them up. I'm going to look at each one very quickly and assign them a scientifically calculated cuteness score. Luke has a pretty generic looking face and a fairly plain outfit, and for some reason he's wearing an ignited lightsaber. Uh, cuteness... 5. Leia has long eyelashes, rosy cheeks, and cute buns. Hair, hair buns. I'm, I'm talking about her hair. She's wearing her iconic white robe. Cuteness, eight. Like Luke, Han suffers from generic face syndrome. But his outfit does give you an idea of who it's supposed to be. Cuteness, five. And starring as Chewbacca, Animal from the Muppets. But he does have his bandolier on, and it's hard to say no to this toothy grin. Cuteness, seven. Here's C-3PO doing his best goldfish impression. I kind of wish they had used metallic gold material instead of this yellowish stuff, but uh, he does have his wires at least. Cuteness, six. R2-D2 has apparently been in some kind of horrific accident. I mean, what is going on here? He also has no legs, even though R2 obviously did. Cuteness, three. Here's Darth Vader with a face only Shmi Skywalker could love. And they did add some detail here under the cape, but that face, man, I'm just not feeling it. Cuteness, do. The Stormtrooper, on the other hand, is nice and fuzzy and has a nice amount of detail on his body. Cuteness, seven. Boba Fett certainly has a lot going on with his antenna and rocket pack and whatever this cloth thingy is here, but I'm not sure I would exactly call him cute. Cuteness, four. I'm not sure if Yoda actually wore a hooded cloak like this in the original trilogy, but his ears and receding hairline are definitely cute. I do kind of wish he had more detail on his body, like a cane or something, but uh, still. Cuteness, eight. We're getting into some dangerously cute territory now. Wicket with his buck teeth and teddy bear ears is extremely cute. And while there's not a huge amount of detail on the body, they did give him a spear. Excellent. Cuteness. 10. And now for the one you've all been waiting for, Jabba the Hutt. These half-lidded eyes and droplet of drool do a good job of capturing the character. And he's got a tail, and only one set of legs, or arms I guess I should say, which is just as you would expect. Cuteness... Infinity! Infinity. But we're not done yet. They made some of the characters in larger sizes including this large size Jabba the Hutt. Just look at this face. Look at it! He's roughly the size of a small pillow. And this size does seem more appropriate for Jabba. Cuteness, infinity plus one. Here he is with his little brother, just to give you an idea of how they compare. Uh, they're going to be coming out with a lot more of these in the future, it seems. They have plans for uh, Force Awakens characters, Phantom Menace characters, and a variety of other ones. Uh, you can bet that they're going to be coming out with a lot of these. So uh, I don't really plan to be buying all of them, but I might pick up uh, one or two here and there, especially if they come out with some Jabba's Palace characters. How awesome would uh, an Ula or a Gamorrean Guard be? If you liked this video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you like Jabba the Hutt plushes, you might want to see one of the other videos I've made on the subject. And you could even click on that subscribe button if you want to get notified when I make new videos. Thanks for watching!